Hey, what's happening, man? It's your boy TTG Fred. I just jumped out of the port with Dirty Glove Bash. Let's do it. Yeah! We got TTG Fred off the porch with us today. I'm, go, I'm trying to go kill with Sam. How you feeling today, man? Bless you, you know what I'm saying? Bless and highly faith. You know, together. That might be the understatement of the year that we've got <laughs> on the porch hey, this, this year. You know, kids. <laughs> yeah. So let's take it back, man. Atlanta native, right? Facts, facts. Yeah. Trying to be a full season. Four yeah. seasons. Home on blocks. Mm. Yeah. What's going on with us? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how old were you when you first jumped off the porch? Hmm. I got to say about 14 officially. Yeah, like, I took off on Mon Duke, like, you know what I'm saying? I was kicking into her, like, like you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I, ain't need, I ain't need to be at her house and shit like that. Like, I was the man when we little nigga would, like, stand at a different friend house every now and then, switching it up. But I made it, I did that shit for two years, so I made it look good, though, you feel me? Hmm. That shit look real good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was one of the biggest life lessons you learned while growing up down there in Thomasville for a season? Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. You can't 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 thank everybody, your friend, man. That hood shit don't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? That set shit don't mean nothing. That click shit don't mean nothing. Sad to say, man, that family shit don't mean nothing sometimes. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I got to say, yeah, that one of the bigger lessons I took out of that shit. For real, for real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Real talk, man. All right, so Let's just jump into this incident, man, uh, where you were shot in the head recently. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Crazy shit. You know what I mean? I mean, then, then you know, I'm a real nigga, so I don't want to get, like, I don't want to build it into no dramatic moment. Like, oh, I was in a shootout on some gangster shit, and nigga shot me in my head, and I survived. Like, nah, I was at home with my family. You know what I'm saying? And I was in my room with my kids and my girl. We chopping it up. I'm in the mirror doing something. I think I just got out of the shower or something. We hear a few gunshots, you know, we look over, but you know, we ain't really tripping. You know, you hear gunshots all the time. Like shit, they got down the second section of them gunshots start. Before we hit a fourth one, one of them motherfuckers that come through the wall in the TV, smacking right in my head. I'm talking about it so fast, like it didn't even, like I ain't seen nothing coming toward me no name. So it really like a mm -hmm. knock me out of my feet, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? Y'all nigga ever play like uh Fight night, you know, goddamn. When you get that last hit, they give you them 10 seconds and pull the mans back together. Oh, yeah, that was me. I'm <laughs> kizzy, boy. But I got that shit together too fast, though. I'm kizzy, man. I'm thinking one of my ops must done caught me and I learned where I'm laying my head at. So, and I'm hitting the head, so I don't even know if I'm finna survive. But, you know, I'm a man at the end of the day. I jump up, grab my fire, grab me a red, try to stop the blood. <laughs> I run out the door. Let me go on the rock out with this last walk, get them away from my family. You know what I'm saying? Just in case, go out the door, man. Ain't nobody out there, man. Hmm. And don't, ain't nobody shot me on purpose, no none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So don't, don't listen to no critic and scream telling you, yeah, I'm the one shot him in the head. That he kept me. Like, I got hit by a straight bullet, I spot a couple, like, couple houses down. Got hit up like 11, 12 times. That's who the shots was really for. Oh, sure. And just one of the bullets just got away from their house and made it over to mine. Literally one bullet True. entered my home, and that motherfucker just so happened to me. Smacked me right in the head. But on the great note here, though, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm blessed, though, because I got a nine month yo. I got two yo. Then I got an old lady. You know what I'm saying? Then I had my little sister in the room, too. She like 16. But you know, I was just named four women. You know, women are more soft than that. So, you know, I'm blessed that that motherfucker hit me instead of hitting one of my little, my little angels or my girl or my sister. You feel me? So I take a blessing out of every situation, man. So I ain't complaining. You see me right here. What this this day twenty off of being shot in the head? Sure. Y'all niggas see what's going on with me, man. Don't play with me, man. I was Tupac. I already got shot in my stomach, in my back, my leg. They used to call me little Tupac in the hood. I didn't say that shit no more, man. Terminated me, man. No kids. <laughs> no kid. So what was everyone else's reaction in the room when they looked down, saw you that you had been shot? I mean, really. So my girl grabbed both of my kids and like grabbed them and like slammed their way to the ground. But like I told you, like the, you know what I'm saying? The bullet hit me so damn fast. You know what I'm saying? It don't look like it hit me because I hit the ground so fast. So it looks like you were just I just started ducking. So my girl said when she saw me start ducking, then we, we all heard it come in the room. 
So she it just made her grab the kids and duck too. Okay. So I jump up because you know I'm already head ringing, trying to get my, my vision better right so I can go get them away from my house. So I don't even got time to say nothing to her because I don't know how much time I got. So you know I jump up, grab my fire, grab me a rag to try to stop the bleeding and run out the door. But she don't know I'm shot oh, until good. she yeah until she picked the kids up. She said when she picked the kids up, she see blood over the floor. And then she said she checked the kids, like, you know what I'm saying? But nothing went wrong with the kids. She checked herself, then looked at my little sister. So she thought, like, damn, where's Fred? So she ran out the door and come to me, asking me, am I right? And they're like, ain't nobody out of those. I'm already sitting on, on my truck looking sick and sad, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just holding my head, and she see the blood. Or she, hold, she holding in a little bit, you know what I'm saying? She dramatic. I ain't going to, because she'll start talking on camera, and she see she's sitting over there, but... You know what I'm saying? Like, so she, oh, you all right? You all right? My other little sister all screaming and shit all on the phone with the ambulance. Please come. My brother shot in the head. You know what I'm saying? Now, what I did do is, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, just, I want to say that too, though. So in case any of y'all people end up going through these type of situations, like, I did my fourth time being shot. Like, you know what I'm saying? I must tell you, like, a part of my survival man, every time is like, when I get hit with them bullets, man, like the first thing I do is focus on my breathing. You know what I'm saying? Calm down, chill, take you some ins and outs. Like, like the doctors and the ambulance drivers and shit tell you, breathe in, exhale, breathe out. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I do that shit. Once I get three, four of them in and out, my mind is saying, chill, you breathing. Now you need to get where you need to get. Get to a high pill, you know, so whatever. You need, you need to chill because a lot of people die of shock. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and panic. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I know this ain't no word. Don't rewind me. Don't, don't make no video about me in the future. Panication. I just like to say shit that sound like it makes sense. But a lot of people die from stupid shit like that, though. So I'm telling you, like, but yeah, anyway, so I get my breathing and shit together, you know, breathing in, breathing out. And I know this, like, like, bro, you still breathing, bro. You just need to chill. You know what I'm saying? I just say a couple of prayer to the big man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a street nigga. Don't get me wrong, but like, I ain't never slept on God, you know what I'm saying? Not day of my life. You know, like, I don't even say the little cool slang everybody say, you know, oh, uncle, uh, uncle. See, I can't even say this shit right now. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I don't get down. That ain't my style. Like, so, you know what I'm saying? I be feeling like that's one of my reasons to be here. Cause, cause I'm cool enough and, and, and I'm a nigga that's good enough in the hoods and in the streets that if I hear it, I be freezing people. Like, hey, you know, you're using God now, ain't that big dog? Like, you ain't got no dead homies, no kids. You know, you know, put that shit on your mama or something. You want to keep playing with God, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I do it heavy. Like, I do it so heavy, like, the people around me, like, that shit, like, disrespectful now. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if they do slip and say it, it's, it's an immediate apology to me. And it's, oh, oh, I'm sorry, babe. Oh, I'm sorry, big bro. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? We take that shit serious, shit, keep it real. I feel like that's a part of my survival. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm a street nigga. I ain't no preacher, but I feel like, you know what I'm saying? To, to, to move right in the eyes of God don't mean you got to put on a, a gown with a cross on it and go stand on the street with a thick ass Bible and read verses and yell all day. Cause we all ain't built for that shit. You get what I'm saying? I'm in the street, John. I can't act like I ain't. You know what I'm saying? I can't put myself into another shoe or stand behind a pastor thing and try to preach the word cause I don't know the full word. But what I am going to do, I ain't going to shit God all the way out of my life. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give him as much as I can give him. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, you know, God, we got to understand the God. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like everything. Everything worked out for the workout. But anyway, I'm getting all out top. So after I focus on my breathing and shit, I got down. I, I tell my girl, I'm like, come on. I'm like, I, calm down, but I need you to tell me, can you see a hole in my head? So I removed the rag. She like, she like, yeah, babe, it's a hole. It's, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The whole time I'm hoping that I just got smacked with a, a great nice good thick gas on the graves or something, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh man, when she said it's a hole. You know it went in. It was like another level, you know what I'm saying? It was like so now my brain like my mind like, you know what I'm saying? That motherfucker getting stuck in my brain. You know what I'm saying? But I'm trying not to think about it. So then I just make a decision, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, shit. I ain't even sit here and wait on no ambulance. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna jump in my truck. I'm gonna get up out of here. Got no doze, one no doze on the truck. You know, we got the Jeep truck, motherfucker, with no doze on no mess. So I'm like, I'm not gonna jump. I'm gonna get myself to the hospital. So I let my girl know, I'm like, listen, I'm, I'm gonna go. I got to get to the hospital. I jump in the truck. This motherfucker ain't got no shoes on. She got on some shorts that damn near look like panties. And she like, I'm going too. 
you know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to freeze it because I'm trying to basically let her know, like, you know what I'm saying? It's a possibility while I'm driving to this hospital, I can just go out. You know what I'm saying? I'm only trying to survive. You get what I'm saying? We don't know what's going to happen. Like, so, you know, like, she like, I don't care. I don't care. I'm going. You know what I'm saying? And they're like, this ain't the time to argue with this girl. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, we got kids together, you know, shit like that. So, like, she said she going, she going. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, she, she hopping that motherfucker. We hit it. Now, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I'm all about helping people, man. So, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I want to take my interview in and let people be able to look at this shit from if they go through, like, these situations. Like, so, I don't know, some type of weird way I want to say, like, me feeling all that wind, you know what I'm saying? All that wind and all that adrenaline rushing. And you got to know I'm doing the top speed. You got to know I ain't doing nothing. If the motherfucking car say 121, I'm doing 121. You know what I'm saying? If, if that motherfucker say 120, I might be doing 122. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm crushing the gas into the flow, but I think I broke the flow a little bit. <laughs> so that motherfucker went down a little more. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, but I got, I got to say, like, I think like the heavy wind, like, were keeping me calm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm telling you? When I tell you, like, man, a lot of niggas flex, man. I'm like, they ain't got time to flex. Like, my girl's still on the phone. She calling my bros, my man. She calling my main niggas and shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause she's scared and she mad all at one time. So she letting all them know what happened. You know what I'm saying? She don't get down with the gutter gangster shit. She always in my ear. You need to do this better, do this, stop. You know, but this day, this person can die. This person can die. You know what I'm saying? So she on the phone with all the killers. You know what I'm saying? But I'm telling her, I'm looking at her like while we driving, I'm just like, and I promise you, man, you'll think I'm lying, man. I had to put my hand on the touch it one time. Like, I said, chill, calm down. Like, we straight God got us. You know what I'm saying? I, I got to a point where it's just like, man, you ain't making it this far from that, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm letting them know, like, man, I'm like, shit, I'm like, bro, we straight, got that shit. Speed, whole time, we straight. But then, like, when I get to the exit with the hospital, and take note, we on the expressway 13, 14 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Because we stay like 25 minutes or something, but you know, I'm going, so I knock 10 minutes off navigation with no issue, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, I'm straight, but then he like, when I get off the exit, of course I got to stop because cars going back and forth. So I had to come to a stop so I could look and see where to go. And they like, as soon as I stopped, man, I want to lie to you, big dog. Like, I got down my arm and shit. My body was shit, shaking and shit. Like, that shit brought that feel back on to a nigga. They're like, oh, no, no. But they're like, oh, hit the gas. But they're like, as soon as I hit the gas again, and I'm feeling this wind and shit again, it's like, my body calm right back down. You know what I'm saying? They're like, And I'm like, two minutes away from the hospital. Now I'll be damned if I got this far. And then the last shot right here. She hit, man. We go on opposite side of the street. My girl, she out there. You know, we ain't got no doors on the whip. So she out there. She, we, 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 man, we doing some disrespectful shit get, to get around the car. But she, you know what I'm saying? Even with all this shit going on, we still respectful people. So she still out the door like, sorry. <laughs> Emergency. Sorry. Oh, we get up to the hospital. Got down. Uh, soon pull in front of that motherfucker. I down there broke the truck. Slam that motherfucker in park. Hopped out that motherfucker, ran that motherfucker, hollering like a goddamn, I don't know, boy. Help, my Shot in the head, goddamn, help. But, you know what I'm saying? The cool right now, cause I'm on the interview, but I might have like a goddamn, like one of them church high pitch voices, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want them, I want them doctor dollars that's in the back back to hit me. All these front center shit, y'all people filling out paperwork, kept in back you. I want them big niggas in the back, them surgeons. Somebody up there hollering. Yeah, come on. I know what I'm doing. But yeah, I ain't getting that motherfucker for cutting my clothes off and shit. For putting me in the cat scan, goddamn. Now I'm trying to figure out why y'all throwing me in the cat scan. But they can't find the bullet. They scratching my jaws and shit. They trying to see where the bullet came out at. They see the hole. They open it up with some little things and got a flashlight in it. They still can't see. And they like, they like, we can't find where the bullet exited. And so they scanned the shit out of me. So, you know, I'm like, shit. They like, we got to put you on the cash scan. But you know, like, you got to put me on the cash scan. They so, they take it like a look. I'm like, I'm like, uh, I'm like, hey, but what if y'all can't, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm telling, I'm, I'm, I'm telling the doctor. You know what I'm saying? I locked in with, an, uh, with this dude. You know, it was a black nurse, man. I ain't know, I don't even know his name, but like, the fear in me wanted a friend. You know what I'm saying? So I'm telling him, hey, sir, hey, big man, you can't leave me here by myself. But in the cat scan room, yeah. when they doing the cat scan, everybody got to get out. And they like, I'm trying to tell these people, like, don't, don't put me in the machine and leave me in there by myself. I'm bleeding out my head. You know, these folks like, sure, this is, we have to do this. I'm like, so what if I stop breathing or something? As soon as I said, what if I stop breathing or something? 
for the last minute with a little tool. <laughs> hit him throat. Man, then say, open your mouth. Then say, you know what I'm saying? It's like, we got to shut him up. It's like, it's like, put me in the machine. Now, I'm going to tell you how I got through the machine shit because I was panicking like here, shaking like a motherfucker. I just know I'm, I can't even, they, they like, so you have to hold still? And you're like, how the fuck? You're like, man, how the fuck y'all expect me to hold still in this fucking machine right now? But you know what, though? I had to say, God, you the greatest, man. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, big God, over. Like, I ain't lying. The noise that's worse like over 300, 400 times. Like, but I had to, like, repeat it over and over. Like, I couldn't keep calm. But, it, like, the more I would come saying with God, like, the more I would just keep my cool. Like, I was in that fucking machine for about, about nine minutes, man. Like, shoot. They pulling me out, I'm thinking they done, and they like, okay, now we gotta get your neck. Push me back in. Pull me out, now we gotta get your chest. And it's like, I'm not shouting my neck on my fucking chest. But like, I ain't finna play with these folks, you know what I'm saying? Then they like, um, they pull me out one time, and they like, do your goals come out? And I'm like, no. They like, they let the nurse lady, she like, well, that might give us a problem with the machine. That's up. I'm down there at a the point where I'm finna let her know, like, they need to take them out. Get you, get you some good wives or something. Snap these bitches out. But then the dude gave me some little mouth guards and they just took them out the cat scan. But when they pulled out that cat scan, that same doctor, the little friend dude I made, and the nigga came and leant over me, man. I never forget it, man. He looked, he was like, hey, hey, hey. I'm like, yeah. He like, you gonna live, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that gangster shit out the wonder. When he said it, I still wanted to hear it again. I'm like, what you say, bitch, dog? He like, you gonna live, man. I'm like, you sure? He like, man, the bullet's not even in your head no more, man. It cracked your skull, and it must have bounced right back out the same hole because it's nowhere in your head. He like, when you go home, wherever you got shot at, you, you'll find the bullet somewhere. Mm. I'm like, long story. They wrap my head up. They wrap my head up. Got down. Give me some little pain medicine and take me to a room. Got down. I stayed in the high pillar about a couple of days. But you know what I'm saying? They, I couldn't walk and shit in my Damn, I'm slow down because I don't want to say no ignorant word for my interview. So, the shit called uh, equilibrium. Yeah, that's some shit with your balance. Mm -hmm. So, like, for people like that don't know, like, like if you hear me get thrown off, because, like, I got shot, like, right here. And it's, like, less than an inch away from my temple. But it's, like, it shut up my eardrum, too. So, like, this ear was, like, completely deaf for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. So, by me can't hear on this shit, like, people never know. Like, you go deaf in one of your ear, like, it, it affects your walking. So balance, two steps, the whole world spinning. Oh, I'm talking about six flag ride, grab some, like grab you something, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't know this yet because I ain't never had no reason to walk. They just rolled me on the beds and shit. And this is when I found out about the equilibrium shit. I'm in the room, they let my girl come in. And we talking, we talking and shit, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just letting her know like shit, we scrape. I'm like, I told you, we just got to keep walking good in God here. No matter what we're doing in these streets, we got to keep it good with the bit, man. We're going to be all right every time. And they're like, we're talking, we're talking, we're talking. And they're like, I was attempting to lift up and say something to it. And they're like, man, when that, this, this little shoulder lift, like this little, man, the fucking room, like, <sighs> they're like, man, I locked down on the bed like a scary bitch, man. Like, <laughs> she's like, you okay, man? You okay? I'm like, yeah. So now I'm like, I'm like, wait. I'm like, what's this bed just about to flip? She like, no, the bed never lift up. Man, when I tell you, man, in my in my brain, that motherfucker was over with, like almost on the floor, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know, but I got down, shit. I don't know. Who there it is. I mean, shit, here a nigga here today got down. Had it got down. You know, I took a little fall with it. It's a couple of days. I was on the cane and shit. Trying for it to like little, little one crutch and shit, but you know, like, man, I got, I got shit to do, John. Like, I ain't, I ain't with the handicap shit, period. You know what I'm saying? I probably don't even supposed to be out in the back like I am right now. But one thing about it, man, they gonna have to just say, hey, this, hey, what them doctors call me? Mr. Smith, my last name. They gonna have to just say, hey, man, Mr. Smith got down. He, he recovered a lot faster than the other people. Like, even in the hospital, they had me on a nine day evaluation. So that mean I supposed to stay in for nine days and let them keep an eye on me. Mm -hmm. By the third day, you know, they were giving me these therapy, making, helping me learn how to walk again and keep my balance and stuff all the time. So I, every time they come and give me my little hour of therapy, when they leave, I'm still practicing. I ain't going to forget this shit you just said. I'm practicing. All the shit they saying, you know what I'm saying? I had to do some little weird shit like look at my finger 
and turn my head left and right, but don't take my eye off my finger. Like, look how crazy this look. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm in the room all day with that bitch, though. <laughs> you know, I'm going home, man. Huh? And sitting in this all day. I grabbed, you know, the little shit that the IV be on and shit, like, with the little, um, the little fluid bass and shit on the little silver pole. Oh, man, my best friend. I'm grabbing butter. I'm practicing walking around the bed. Hmm. I'm not going to stand this. You got to pop that motherfucker three days. Yeah, they like, three days, really? Man, three days. I'm like, hey, Mr. Smith, are you sure you ready to go? I'm like, can y'all just give me the test that y'all said I need to pass? They gave me a little walk, quarter mile test inside the high pill. I had to walk that block like uh, at a certain amount of time. Man. Got this shit done, <laughs> boy. Yeah, before come back in now, hey, man. We can't hold him. He don't want to be here. Man, take me home, man. Then, you know what I'm saying? I'd stayed in the high pill. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Y'all niggas, a lot of y'all niggas ain't going to want to admit that, but I don't mind admitting it. Hospitals, as niggas, we really don't got no problem going to the hospital. But with this corona shit, oh, it stop your girl from coming. So you in there be by yourself. Ain't no, no foot massage. No, you getting baby because you finally hurt. I'm in there by myself, man. Man, don't get me out of here. Now they let my girl come in there, motherfucker. I'd have stayed the whole nine. Man, look, man, I work hard here. Lord knows I want my nine days of being the bitch. Shit, it is what it is. Yeah, ooh, it hurt. You rub it? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, you got to be soft to somebody. Can't be hard to all these motherfucking people, but hell, now nah, I was in that motherfucker about myself, man. Get me out of here, man. That's enough of that, though, man. Let, let go forward, though. But get me out of there. Like, just for real, for real. So, 20 days later, are you 100%? How are you feeling? Where, where hell, no. Nah, I thought I was 100%. <laughs> I ain't lying, but I thought I was 100% yesterday. I was out, I went down on the block with some of my homies and shit. You know, I can walk and shit, you know what I'm saying? I can run if I got to. I don't know how long or what they going to do to me because I ain't tried it yet. But, like, right now, like, ain't nothing bothers me. I'm driving, everything, eating. Ain't nothing changed, you know what I'm saying? But, it like, I tried to get one of my men to tussle with me yesterday, like, on some wrestling and shit, you know what I'm saying? Man, about 14 seconds in, my body was like, Poof. Heart like this hill. I'm breathing. I'm about to hear. I lean down. I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm about to fall. He grabbed me. I'm about to hear, but don't let me go. Don't let me go. Sit me on the wall, man. I had to stay on the wall like six minutes. Okay, get myself back together. Telling myself in my head right there, you need to slow down, buddy. You ain't sweet as you think it is. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it is what it is. They told me it's going to take five, six months before I be all the way back me. But like, if I could be this person that I am right now for this time, then. Man, let do these little five six. My shit ain't nothing, man. I ain't listen. Hey, man, you only weak when them folks tell you you weak and you play weak, man. That's just period. Ain't no way around it, man. Folks tell you you weak and you play weak, then you fucking weak. That's just that is what it is. If you just ate fucking six pancakes and nineteen sausages, and these folks telling you you hungry, you know they wrong as hell. You know you full as hell. So you ain't even eating in my motherfucking body. You ain't even tell me I'm fucked up. I don't know. I'm gonna respect you if you say I need to take it slow for an amount of time. But you ain't gonna tell me, yeah, you ain't gonna be able to walk for such and such time. And then I get up and walk. They're like, yeah. <laughs> nah, I ain't going for all that. But I ain't gonna lie, though. I'm gonna take it slow, though. I'm done with the wrestling shit. No, none of that <laughs> shit. And for the future. I would like to say this, because you know what I'm saying? I know these interviews get out. I don't even care for trouble. You understand me? Like, I don't care for the drama. I don't care for the beef. You know what I'm saying? But we all know with the game, you're going to have some haters and shit just come with it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, in my future lifetime, I just want, I want the whole world to know, like, like I'm a, I'm a family man first. You know what I'm saying? Like, like in these streets, I'm a gangster. Y'all know what's up with me. Y'all know we all hear the story. We shot it, did this, shot it, did that, shot it. But nine times out of ten, somewhere around it, I was in situations where I just had to get myself out of them. If you can put a camera on me 24 hours, man, you probably wouldn't even want to be for me. When I'm at home, or when I'm with just my family and my sisters and shit, I'm probably the goofiest nigga around. I'm telling you, I'm making a joke about everything. You Don't choke in front of me. I ain't going to play while you choking. But once you feel better, I'm taking this choke to the extreme, man. Like... I'm a hundred percent fuck nigga, but in a great way. You know what I'm saying? So like, but like, y'all nigga play with me though. I ain't no hoe, and I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Just a heads up. But what we going now? What we going? Let go. <laughs> and I saw 
what type of messages were you getting on IG after this event? Because I know you posted a video mm-hmm. immediately after it happened, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. And look, yeah, man, that's why I like when y'all do y'all own question, man, because I would have never thought about this. I wanted to get this out. So, so I made a video getting rolled into the back of the hospital. This is before they got to do anything to me. This is before they cut my clothes off and everything. This is when they taking me to the room. And I just thought to myself, like, shit, at the end of the day, bro, I'm shot in my head, bro. You feel me? I got two families. You know what I'm saying? I got two kids with one girl, and then my girl that I'm with today, we got two kids. But I take care of both of them. You know what I'm saying? I pay all the bills for both of them. So, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm a nigga that, that I feel I feel like I'm needed here. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, in my mind, I just wanted to think, you know, like, shit, at the end of the day, sometimes you got to man up, and you got to just, like, come with situations, and you, you know what I'm saying? You got to, like, you know, you just got to take the motherfucker, but... Shit, I was thinking in my head like shit. And in the end of the day, brother, you shot in the head, so it like, I can get back here. These folks say that motherfucker enlarged in my brain, and they got to get it out, but they don't know if I'm going to wake up again. Uh, they might go ahead and put me to sleep and tell that to my girl and my family. Like, yeah, we finna try to get it out of that, but we're not guaranteed he's going to wake up. So me as a man, I'm thinking shit. If you can say one more thing, what, what you want to say? And they're like, shit, grab my camera, I do my own interview. I don't got to come out of the interview. I got a camera phone. <laughs> Put that motherfucker on me and go crazy, you know what I'm saying? Put that motherfucker on me and they're like, well, I'm thinking, they're like, shit. So I hit in my head about a straight bullet, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of people fuck me. I got a lot of people love me. And they're like, shit. God knows if that bullet had to hit anybody in that room. You know what I'm saying? Like, do what I mean for the simple mind of people. If God could have froze earth, and just came into my bedroom and just right there in front of me and my family and just be like, hey, look here, for real. You know, I fucked you, my brother. Listen, a bullet finna come in this room, but it has to hit somebody. Ain't nobody in this room, but my two kids, my little sister, and my old lady, and me. Like, they motherfucker got to hit somebody. Like, for real, who you want to hit? I'm a man, John. I'm gonna pick me. So, you know what I'm saying? So, my message was, God knows. Before that bullet hit any one of my kids, he knows I would have rather it hit me. So then it's like, thank, first of all, I thank you, big God, you know what I'm saying? That, that I ain't died, but it like, if I would have died, it like, at least I would have died, like, them folks would have been like, shout have left in peace. You know what I'm saying? Damn, I thought this shit was gonna sound here, crap today. I don't even know how to shut this shit up. But, um, but yeah, so it's like, uh, I'm like, uh, I'm doing turn it off. I'm like, um, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it is what it is. It's like, if I got, if I got, like, I just want them folks to know they turn my left on. It like, shit. And that day, shot his head before he shot his head before he checked out. It was like, shit. Cause they did what I can take. You know what I'm saying? First of all, my girl she be relaxed. Cause you know what I'm saying? I, I'm a handle shit. Period. But then when shit slow down for me, she go ape shit. You understand know me? I'm talking about. You know how a nigga have an old lady like my girl cute, look my hair, all that shit. No disrespect to y'all women, but you know, most of them women, like, they be like, lazy. Like, they don't be really having them going on, unless it's like some big industry shit, and then now my name is gonna help your name do something, you know what I'm saying? So you can go say it's clothes or some wigs or something. But I'm talking about why we in these trenches right now, why why my name ain't even really mattering like that. Like, oh no, shout out, do her some hair, shout out, got now, woo why, why? So if she get tired, if I get tired, I get frustrated and I wanna take me a break, shout out, gonna hold it down. So in, in the back of my mind, like, in that day. They might ain't gonna be super duper happy because the nigga gone, but they like, she gonna get the bed and the helmet. And that's the same thing for my first baby mama too. And like, don't get me wrong, she might super relax and shit because, she, you know what I'm saying, they know what's up with me. But I know deep down inside this shit, if anything ever flip, them folks gonna get the bed and the helmet. You feel? Just point blank, period, like, period. So, long, long story short, yeah, so that, that, that's the only reason I wanna just bring that, bring that little message up. Cause people like, this nigga recorded himself after he got shot in the head. These niggas do anything for clout. They like, damn, man, y'all niggas so lame. Y'all niggas so petty. You, I don't know if I'm gonna live or die. And the first thing you thought about was clout. Like, bro, I'm a man, man. Y'all niggas know that, man. It's the difference between me and y'all people, man. I'm a man first, man. I promise you, like, and and sometimes you're gonna get put in situations, bro. I could have just been a bitch and laid there and kept begging them doctors to help me. And then something happened to me. I don't even leave with a piece of a legacy. It's just like, how you die? Scrape bullet came in the room and hit him. Boom. Hell nah, John. Let me let these folks know I left this motherfucker with, with some type of peace. Just period. That's how I just feel. I left this motherfucker. 
with some type of goodness on my mind. It ain't that day that motherfucker got hit somebody, come on, hit me. And that motherfucker better hit me every single time if it got to be a situation like that. Plus, I'm a motherfucker Terminator. I'll be all right. <laughs> if you get shot every day, B, I'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let's take out though. All right. All right, so let's move on to the music now. Yeah. yeah. Um, you got a new project on the way. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Share a song. Long live my dude. I'm kissing. My mama was a motherfucker warrior. Yeah. Can't think of no better name than name my first tape. You know what I'm saying? So, my first tape, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no booty shake. I'm sorry, woman. Ain't nothing you gonna shake your ass to. Not this time, but I got you though. That's my word. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no club songs. You know what I'm saying? Damn, what the fuck is that word, man? Oh, when you get like try to get in the job and shit. What them shits be having them people be making? Oh, this is my, uh, this, this mixtape is gonna be my resume. Yeah, that's that's all this is. You know what I'm saying? This how y'all gonna get to know TTG, man. This how y'all gonna get to know who I am. This what you gonna learn. This how you once you listen to this mixtape from the beginning to the end, you gonna know what made me sad. You gonna know what made me happy. You gonna know what made me mad. You gonna know what made me smile. You gonna know what made me cool. I, I guarantee you, once you hear this motherfucker from the front to the back, you gonna know enough about me to the point that you're not gonna even just be listening to my music no more. You're going to be listening to our music or you're going to be hearing shit. You're going to be like, man, I can relate to that, boy. You know what I'm saying? So when I make this shit, I ain't making this shit just for me. I know I ain't the only nigga going through something. I don't think I'm special. It's me. It's me. It's us and this motherfucker. I'm trying to make this shit for the people that can't make it. For the motherfucker who can't get there and write something down. Nigga, play my shit. Don't even think about me. Go get, get in the mirror and rap that shit. This your song. If that motherfucker means something to you and that feeling come out of you, it's your track. Don't even think about no TTG. Play that motherfucker and rap that motherfucker to the go, go in your room, get in the mirror. You want a little gangster, put on some gangster shit, grab your gun, fake gun. You don't got no gun, get a broom, but rap your shit. Man, I do this shit for the people, John. Ain't no cap, they just hear what it is. No cap, for real, for real. Go crazy. Is that the single you're pushing right now? Go crazy, yeah. That's all. That's all, yeah. That's my single right now. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm going to keep it 100, man. That go crazy shit hard in here, man, but. Nah, I made mean, that shit drunk. <laughs> really? Man, drunk. What were you drunk off of? Hennessy. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm, <laughs> oh, man, I'm a Hennessy man. No, no kids. I ain't even lying. If Hennessy don't give me an endorsement deal throughout the first five years of my career, y'all better hope I don't make a whole lot of money. Because if I do, I'm going to buy so many fucking bottles of Hennessy and just go shatter them bitches on somebody's <laughs> way. I'm going make, I'm to make y'all Hennessy cause so many accidents. Nobody ain't gonna wanna drink that shit. You know what I'm saying? Hennessy gonna be a bad name. They're gonna, I'm gonna make it look like a Hennessy truck fail and just did fuck the world up. Y'all say, y'all better got them. Go ahead and start looking at me now. Y'all really call me now. If you smart, call me for this. You know to go up. So you might can get me for a couple hundred thousand right now. Don't wait six months to a year though when this shit gonna cost you. They, they heard what I said. They heard what I said. Mm hmm. Will a headshot be on the project, or was that just something? Uh, Man, listen, the project was supposed to be pushed out. Yeah, we fold that motherfucker. We got to wait on headshot. Yeah, headshot will is added to shit. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No kissing. Yeah, and I made a headshot video the very next day. I got out of the hospital. The next day, shit. That you know that equilibrium shit. I was telling you, I failed twice at the video shit. Shit. Yeah, tripping. You know when you vibing and shit. You know you fuck around and vibe and you. Can't do that with that equilibrium, huh? Fuck around and close them eyes with the boom. <laughs> cut the camera off. <laughs> cut the camera off. Then, then the cameraman talking about, uh, so we should really use something, man. You make me fall in the video. Yeah, your career over. Come to that shit is some serious shit. This, this is a beef now. Got me falling and shit out on the video. But yeah, that shit. Man, boy, talking about experiences, but I ain't lying, but I got them, bro. Promise you, boy. For real, for real. Yeah. But yeah, it'll most definitely be on that, though. Promise you. Mm -hmm. You got a date picked out for the project yet? Nope. Sadly. <laughs> nope. It seems like every time it's time to do something, something happened to get that motherfucker pushed back. This corona shit is something serious, man. Like, I had, like, places rented out and shit for, like, videos and shit. And then when it was time to do it, the amount of people I had for the video, they might want to be like... Oh, it's too many people. It's over capacity, and it don't make sense if if we can't do it. How my people get it wrote down? You know what I'm saying? 
Like, I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all artists something too real quick. Cause I always thought, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm that artist, you can check my background. I'm that artist that I always thought I can do it by myself. I don't need nobody. I don't give a fuck about none of that management shit. No man. Listen, I was wrong. But get you a, don't just get you no any management team. Get you a full management team. Like I got a dream lab, motherfucker. After they blow me up, y'all don't go hit them up. They can't get no more artists right now until I'm out of here. But after I'm out of here, if you want your career to take out, man, go holler at Dream Lab, man. Them folk work their ass out. And I ain't even start saying name because I was about to. But I got a feeling I'm going to forget like two or three people's name. And they're going to be pressure every time I see them. And some of these people, they do shit for me. Fix my food or cut my hair or something. And, and if I fuck around and forget their name, haircut might be fucked up. Food might be slightly poisoned, not the kids, just to have me a little sick. So just shout out to the whole motherfucking drink, man. I know kids are on, on the nation, but y'all do that though. All right, talk to us about TTG, the label. Okay. So, oh yeah, these folks just talk me like, um, oh, well, you can own your own label, that man. Secretary of State. You know what I'm saying? You know, we, we all sitting in the hood and shit. Thinking we need 500,000 to own a business when you really need 300 and some dollars. 300 and some dollars, get you a name, trade, all that motherfucker. I own that shit. See, a nigga ain't give me the game. These niggas hold all this back for me. See, I'm a fuck nigga. I can't wait till everybody know what's going on. Let me start over in case y'all didn't hear me. 300 and some dollars. Yeah, get you a name. Now, what you do got to do is search the name and make sure nobody else don't got the name. Man, get you a name that's your name. Man, get you a Secretary of State. Uh, what the fuck are these numbers is I got now? EIN number, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Get that shit approved. That shit sent through. Man, you know, I own a business in fucking two weeks top, man. Uh, yeah, I'm a fucking business owner. Trying to go to label. When I blow, I know a lot of y'all niggas out there hard that people can't help. Trust me. I'm going to hear y'all. But I got a couple of my mans that I'm already hearing right now. So I'm going to keep that real top. I got to finish hearing them first. But that's on the nation. When I'm there, there, I'm here a whole lot of y'all. Y'all got my word. That's on so yeah, but I'm a motherfucker being on. <laughs> no cap. Do you look to sign and develop some uh artists in the future? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Gotta hell yeah, gotta spread the wealth, man. I know how hard it is. I've been on the grind for six going on seven years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm talking about show after show, studio after studio. Song after song, like, I, don't know, I know how they grind here, man. I know how it is, man. For real, for real. Man, only a certain niggas get lucky. So I got to, I got off the lucky list, though. That's what I was waiting on. That's why I was on my own. I figured, but you rap good, keep rapping. Sooner or later, you going to get lucky. Somebody going to hear you. And I'm going to be like, oh, he's hard. It don't work like that for everybody. Somebody got motherfucking work. And I've been motherfucking work. Let's see what they work do. It did work, work, y'all. Y'all niggas know. Y'all need to start motherfucking working. That lucky shit ain't for everybody. Somewhere you gotta work. I'm a motherfucker work. No kid. Mm-hmm. Man, I keep sipping that cup. Y'all don't do no flesh. They water. <laughs> they water. They cut just so player, man. Shout out dirty glove. That's you know what I'm saying. They motherfuckers so player. You gotta sip that water like a player. You know what I'm saying? No yeah, kids. No Hennessy in that cup. Ain't no Hennessy. No lean. No perk juice. No sand juice. You know, I be on all the shit. You know what I'm saying? But now, they water day. They water day right here. Water good ahead, though. It might just be the cuts, though. They water bust. Mm -hmm. Where we at, though? Yeah, let go. Let go. I'll get lost. I ain't lying. <laughs> I'll get lost, man. Nah, you good. All right, Fred. Any last words or shout outs before we get you out of here, man, and wrap this up? Once again, I ain't doing that separate shout out shit. If you know I motherfucker love you, shout out to you. <laughs> Whoop, there it is. You finna do the name shit. These folks be having attitude. Who be around me and shit. Shout out to all y'all. I will say shout out to my kids. I'm going to say shout out to my old lady because she's in here watching me. You know what I'm saying? Because, boy, I hear that shit in the car. Let me see. Uh, shout out to my family. Y'all know who y'all live. And like I fucking said, shout out to my little one. No kids. Trying to go shit. Dirty Glove Bouncer. Don't fucking play with us. <laughs>